Hey everyone, Dulcie here, and you're watching Candy's Garden, where I will be attempting to grow a pekin plant using the seeds from some of the peppers from this company. Recently, I got a comment on one of my pekin plant videos, and they were wondering if I used the dried pekin peppers from this company. I replied back that they weren't, and here's a look at mine compared to this company's. As you can see, mine are more round than theirs, which a lot of people like to say that I'm not growing true Pekin pepper plants just for this reason. Supposedly, a true Pekin pepper is this longer type pepper, and the round ones I grow are called Chili Patine, which is grown more in South Texas thanks to the Mockingbird. So, for all of those saying I'm not growing true Pekin pepper plants, I will try to attempt to grow one today. So, let's get started! Okay, so I've got this opened up and now I'm going to pour a few of these out so I can choose a couple for this project. And of course, you'd like to wear some gloves for this because if you're not careful, um, well, let's just say you want to wear some gloves. Here are the two peppers I chose and now I'm going to crush them up to extract the seeds. You can either save the peppers for later use or just discard it. I've already got my little salsa cups ready with some growing medium in them. A baggie labeled with what's going into it as well as today's date. And now we are ready to add the seeds. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle the seeds over the top. That go. And that is it. Now I'm ready to mist them with some water, getting them damp, but not too wet. Here I've placed them in the baggie and I will place them on my window seal in hopes that I can update y'all in a few days with some kind of progress. All right, so I am back to share an update on whether or not I could grow a true Pekin pepper plant using the seeds from a couple of these dried peppers from this company that I bought from my local grocery store. But before I share if it was a success or fail, I'd like to share a few things that I did along the way. So if anybody is wondering um, if I gave them any water, I wrote it down on the baggie that uh, I attempted to grow the seeds in. So of course I started this project on December 2nd and every day up until the 8th, it was every other day up until the 8th, I gave it a little bit of water because I guess where I put them on the windowsill, they were getting a little too warm and the soil was uh, getting a little bit dried out. So every other day I would give it a little bit of um, water. Then on the 9th of December, I didn't see anything happening with the seeds. So I went ahead and um, covered the seeds up a little bit with soil. I also gave them a little bit of water on the 9th after I covered them a bit up with soil and that was basically it. So I guess without further ado, let's see if this was a success or fail project. And here she is y'all, looking very healthy. I was able to grow one Pekin pepper plant from this store-bought dried peppers. So if y'all are wondering if y'all can grow a true Pekin pepper plant using the uh, seeds from the dried peppers at your local grocery stores, here's your proof. Hold up. Before I close out this video share, I noticed something after I ended this video that I needed to share with y'all. 
Not only did I have one Pekin pepper plant growing, but there was a second one coming up. I just thought that was some amazing news and I had to share it with y'all. Well, I sure hope you all enjoyed this and you um, learned something. Hopefully this helped uh, someone else that is wanting to uh, grow a Pekin pepper plant. And as always, y'all, love God because he loves you. And y'all have a nice day now. You're here. Bye.